YouTube, what's going on? Your boy T Davis is back, and today we're taking a look at the best red zone play in Madden 23. In this play, we're gonna break exactly down how to beat it with how to beat it versus man coverage, versus Tampa two cover three zone, any type of defense that you might face. This will work as long as you have a few rules that we're going to get to in a second. Before we do, make sure you guys are subscribed here to my YouTube channel for the best Madden 23 tips and content. Hit this video with a like. It really helps me out in the algorithm. And if you have any questions at all about this or any of my Madden content, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, in the descriptions down below, I have ebooks, I have coaching sessions, I have film study reviews. You can request your own personalized Madden ebook. Check all that stuff out down in the links in the description below. <clears throat> Make sure you guys are also checking out the MaddenAcademy.com. It's one of my favorite places for you know improving your game as a Madden player, right? It really dives deep into the ins and outs inside the game of how you need to get to that next level. So check out the MaddenAcademy.com. I have a discount code where you can get a great percentage off down in the links in the description below. So if you guys want any more of my info, get down in the links in the description below. I'm on social media at Brand on every platform. So we are here in the pistol double stack formation now. This is in the Detroit Lions offensive playbook, which is personally my favorite playbook in Madden 23. And you can also find it in the Pittsburgh Steelers offense play, which is another great playbook in this game. So we're going to show you how to get the best kind of red zone aggressive catch in the game, right? And we're going to do it versus every single coverage. So we're going to go pistol double stack. Now you do a couple rules here for this. You want a pretty good quarterback. I like to have a quarterback with the, with the set feet lead ability or pass lead elite. Uh, just a good quarterback with some good velocity. So I'm rocking with that Justin Herbert here in the Chargers. And then the second rule is... I want as much height and big goons out there as possible. So with the Chargers, I got Mike Williams out here on the left side. I got Keenan Allen over here on the right side, who's about 6'2". Obviously, Mike Williams is 6'5". Left slot, we got Josh Palmer. And right slot, we got Gerald Everett. So every receiver I have is over 6'2". So you do want tall guys as best as possible. And most importantly, you want them on the outside. So I got Mike Williams and Keenan Allen on the outsides. Inside, not as important, but I still like to have a little bit of height there in case we do want to throw that occasionally. But this main, the play is mainly going to be based on the outside receivers. We will throw the inside receivers a little bit, uh, but you do want that height like I'm talking about. It's super important in Madden 23 to have goons out there with this high ball mechanic that we're going to do. So the play is four verticals. You see it's got those kind of two outside wheel routes and two almost inverted streaks. This play is going to be such money in the red zone. So we'll start here. Uh, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna break it down versus pretty much every coverage, but we'll start with just a base man defense, right? So versus man coverage, this is gonna be similar to the slot post video that I posted versus man coverage specifically. What you're looking for is as soon as these outside corners turn their head, we're gonna immediately pass lead this uh, to the outside shoulder. So if I'm throwing to the left side, I'm going to aim my left stick up and to the left. So it's almost like I'm aiming it towards Mike Williams' backside left shoulder, right? And I'm going to use the high ball mechanic. So that's going to be uh, L1 on PlayStation or LB on Xbox. So I'm going to hold down L1 and I'm going to pass lead that to his outside shoulder as soon as I see that DB turn his head that, when I know it's man coverage, right? And then once we do that, we're just going to aggressive catch it, and we should get that rocket catch, aggressive catch animation every time. So let's run it a few times here versus man coverage. Left side, boom, he turns his head. I high ball it, and I'm in the end zone. High ball uh, every single time with that user catch. Now, I didn't get the best animation possible there, but you see with this play, like it's literally impossible for you to throw a pick on it, right? So if anything, it'll be incomplete, and more probably 80% of the time, you're going to get a, a completion, especially a touchdown. So ready, what do I wait for? Turns his head. Boom, turns his head. Now this is when I highball it to my receiver's backside shoulder, which would be this left shoulder here, as you can see right about, I don't know, right here. That left shoulder, that's where I'm pass leading it to. As soon as that DB turns his head, then all I do is aggressive catch. I get that inside position, inside leverage. I high point it with the aggressive catch. Mike Williams does a great job of that, and I'm in the end zone for the touchdown. So that's what you want to look for. For man coverage, same thing. Let's do it again here. Wait till that DB turns his head. I threw that a little bit too soon, but you still you see there. Mike Williams outbodies the receiver, goes up and gets it every single time. This time, left shot shoulder, turns his head, boom. This time we get a huge uh, high ball animation. He says, get off me, son, and he's in the end zone. Let's go do it to the right side here. Let's go. Turns his head. Keenan Allen, inside leverage, boom, bada, boom. Aggressive catch in the end zone every time. It's unstoppable, right? 
even if the user tries to click on and make a play, it's super hard to do it. I threw that a little bit too late, but you st still see there. He gets up, and he basically mosses him, right? Let's take a look at that replay here. We get a nice animation this time. He kind of gets that straight up. So what, what am I looking for again? Boom. Turns his head right now. Boom. I'm passing this to his outside right shoulder with the high ball. I'm aggressive catching it, and he's getting He's high-pointing it. Look at that. Like, come on. Get off me, son, is what he's saying. Easy touchdown. So you see how good it is. First man coverage, right? So now let's go ahead and run it versus a couple different defenses. All right, now this time we're going to do it versus uh, zone coverage. We'll go a little Tampa 2. So come out in four verticals. Let's find a cover 2. There we go. Now, versus cover 2, Tampa 2, what you want to do is wait for him to kind of clear all that outside corner. And you're going to do the same thing. High ball it, pass lead it to the back of the end zone this time. And he should clear out and you should have some space to throw it in the back of the end zone like that. And this, this one you can just possession catch it when you get to that back pylon. Uh, so that's what I like to do versus Tampa, too. Sometimes you can even thread the needle in the inside slot position, but I like to just do that. Back corner, boom, every single time. Gets behind that outside corner in the flat zone. And you see there, we can easily, you know, convert this to a touchdown. Same thing here. The safety cannot get out there, and the corner doesn't get deep enough. It's all day long, right? So whether there's man coverage, Tampa 2, uh, cover 4, cover 3, whatever the case may be this time. Once again, wait for him to get behind the corner. I highball it, back of the end zone, easy, easy conversion. Now, let's do it versus cover 3 here. Cover 3 can be a little bit more difficult. Honestly, versus cover 3, I like to go to the inside receivers a little bit more, right? Depending on where I can pass lead it, right? So depending on where the safety goes, just like that. You see how the safety kind of converts back to the middle inside? And we have that little seam that we can pass lead to the inside. And that's where these seam streaks that are inverted come into play so they get a great boost off the line they kind of cut right down the middle turn it to the inside a little bit pass lead that right to the inside and you can do that to either side as well right even the left side here i have a little bit of a window it's a little bit tighter on this side um so i did go to the right side but you just want to read that safety see where he goes right so same thing here let's go ahead and look at you see the safety kind of leans to the left just a tad when i see that safety lean to the left a little bit and i know it's cover three i pass lead that to the inside and sometimes you can also still get to the outside receivers a little bit more difficult, but sometimes it'll still work. You see that you get to that outside leverage uh, versus the cover three as well. If you know if they're shaded inside or something, you can still sometimes throw it out there like that. Let's do it again here like this. You see how we get to the outside. So versus cover three, I'm usually looking to the seams, but I can also kind of get it to the outsides as well. So this this play, guys, honestly is amazing. Um, you know, just so, so good in the red zone. Like I said, the main rules is you need those tall, tall receivers out there to go up and get the ball, high point it, especially versus man coverage. This is literally 90% success rate versus man coverage. Absolute money. Versus zone, you got to be a little bit more patient. Uh, whether it's Tampa 2, you want to hit it behind it. Cover 3, you kind of want to hit the seams. So you got to be a little bit more patient versus zone and make the right reads. But like I said, it's still going to work about 60, 70% of the time versus zone. And versus man, it's, it's guaranteed pretty much a lock. Uh, in the red zone so and the cool thing is about it is this formation is um you know basically the same on both sides right so even when i flip flip the play nothing happens right so i can flip the play i can mix in the runs you can never tell what i'm doing because the formation is symmetrical right so that's what's so cool about it and they're both running the same routes on opposite sides of the field so i can do it to either side that i want right if i have a good matchup so like if i'm playing the dolphins here you know they have xavier and howard on the right side Probably want to avoid him a little bit more, right? He's a star receiver, has that acrobat ability and pick artist ability. I probably want to go more to the left side. So I get Mike Williams over there on a non-star uh, corner, and I can take advantage of that matchup every single time. So that's the cool thing about this play is you can do the same thing on both sides. Absolute money. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions, of course, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, hit this video with a like. Subscribe to the channel. Keep it locked here on the channel. We have plenty more tips on the way. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my exclusive content here on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the links in the description below if you want more cool stuff from your boy.